hey guys welcome back to my channel this is avi word today i'm gonna show us how to make this beautiful bouquet of flowers made from fabric let's get started here are the things needed i'm gonna use this um um aluminium conductor you will know it this um they usually use it for um electricity those um high tension cable why i always call them aluminium conductor and um is um 50 mm that's the um size then i'm going to just cut it i already cut them uh, um this is nine inches so i cut them nine inches each then i'm gonna use this um organza i believe we're um, familiar with this so i'm using this organza then um my uhu these are the only things needed so i'm just going to cut some um, the um organza now in um, sizes so i'm cutting um three inches okay three inches three inches is right here so i'll just um cut it out like this i just place a mark there then fold it like this to get the next the next one put a mark there as well seal i go round thereafter i'll just um tear it out like this it's better you tear out because using um scissors to cut it is going to maybe shift you understand so just tear them like so here is it i succeeded in cutting them um three inches long so i will just um hold them together like this um this is four now i'll fold it into two into two like this then i'll fold it again that's into four then i'll just um cut it right here and cut this place as well Can you see that? So these are the sizes you need. Hmm? I think this is about um let me take the measurements. Um 15. Okay, let's just say 15 um inches. That's how it is. So here is it. I'll just pick one of the um conductor, aluminum conductor. Then here is the organza. So I will just fold the edge like this facing you okay not the other way around let it face you like this you have this um, kind of triangle form of um shape like this then you place this um edge here at the tip of um the wire like this then i'll add some glue just a little after that, I will just use my hand to hold the tip of the um, fabric down, then roll it like this. You can see that. I use my left hand to hold it, so I'm rolling it. Keep rolling till you get to a stage like this where you have um, just a little fabric remaining from where you folded. Add another glue. Can you see that? You have this edge. This is where it's going to form our rose. So I'll just fold it down like this to the back. Then I'll hold it all and roll. Okay. Then this time around, I will not add more glue again. I don't want much glue and I don't want to waste my glue as well. So I'll just keep folding. Note the folding. I fold from here like this. When you fold, this place goes to the back, okay? Fold like this. Can you see that? Then I hold the whole flower and roll it once. When you roll, ensure that you have something like this still left, okay? So when you roll like this, you have here, then you fold again and roll. Okay, you fold again. 
this is the last part so this last part i'll just add some glue to the end here like this then i will hold it together and twist and twist and roll and roll roll it tight so that um, the glue that was in there will mix with um, the other place where you did not add um, glue okay so just keep rolling and rolling tight can you see that wow is it not lovely so I'll make another one again fold like this place my wire at the tip here add some glue here just follow up you're gonna get it okay like this can you see that you have a reasonable amount left here then I will just add small glue at the down part of it. Then I fold backwards, hold the whole flower from up with my right hand and turn, turn it inside or inward rather. Then fold again and turn, fold again and turn fold again the last part now so once is the last part i'll just um, add glue to that part okay here is it one more before we go Guys, are you not liking what you're seeing? Can you see how um, lovely it is to make this kind of um, roses yourself at home? You could make something like this during Valentine and make a lot of money out of it. I usually do it. Okay, you just make nice one, fine color, Valentine color. Then add some nice um, fragrance to it, some perfume and package it up and sell it. You make cool money out of this. If you know that you are learning a lot from this channel, please do well to subscribe if you are new. And to my old friends, I really appreciate you all. I hope you are enjoying all the content here. So if you are new, kindly subscribe so that you can be getting new and more creative videos like this. Okay? Then I'm going to make some other ones without the stick. Without the stick at all. So I just hold it like this. Add some glue here, then fold it, keep rolling. Remember there is no stick this time, so you have to roll it up with your hand like this, as if there is a, um, an iron inside. So when I get to this stage, I continue the same process. But for this, I'm going to add glue all through because um, there is no um, stick to hold it up. So it can stick very well. So I will add glue again till I get to the end. Okay. So this is the end. I will just add last glue and twist around. can see that without a stick one more to go like this continue There's stick glue here, that's why I'm not adding more because I can feel it in my hand. So I don't need to keep adding once I feel it. OK, 
can see it. Oh, you can see I'm done with them. Here are the um, short ones I use. Um, the ones I did not add them um, sticks to. So I decided to add this color to it. So here are they. So we're simply go going to um, pack them now to form that bouquet of flowers. To form the circle, I will start by picking one of these. This is the um, neutral color there. So I'm combining it. I want it to be at the um, middle of all. So I will add it. Meanwhile, these other ones, I'm just going to add them up. Um, just add some glue and attach to them. But these ones that have sticks, I'm going to arrange them like this. So first of all, I will pick one that's going to be at the middle. Then I'll start um, adding... Um, round it to go around okay now that i pick this first one the next one I, i'm gonna pick i'll just um bend it or fold it um okay bend it towards me like this then the next one i bend towards me still i go around this circle can you see that wow it's lovely then that line is complete now see i have one here one two three four five six seven eight so eight go around it to form that circle mm -hmm. so i'll start the next layer now i will still um bend it towards me like this and start going around till i go around that second line again you can see that second layer is done so the third layer now, I'm simply going to fold it like this, um, bend it towards me like this, then hold the tip close to where the, um, the row started and bend it towards it like this. Can you see it? See the shape? Okay. So bend from under, then fold it up like this. Bend it towards me and bend towards the flower. Continue like that. You can see that I've finished um, packing them. So I'll just um, go ahead now and tie it. With um, This is um, a uh, ribbon, ribbon, paper ribbon. So I'll just um, tie first of all here. Make sure it's firm. Yeah, I'll just roll it round the um stem of the flower. You can as well cover them with um uh, green tape, but I don't have that at the moment, so I'm just going to tie it because I'll definitely still going to um wrap it up with ribbon. <laughs> some ribbon to tie it up like this starting from this um under of the flower the stem i'll just um, wrap it up so I'll start coming up again Simply start arranging, arranging it like this, because while you were tying, some can shift, you know. So just make sure you arrange it very well. I also add these other ones to it now. So I will just add some glue on at um, both sides, then just push it in anywhere. Okay. Can you see this? Wow, isn't that lovely? One more thing, we're gonna cover um, this place like this. So I'm gonna use this um 
and stay paper stay to cover it up so i just cut a square out um after cutting this i'll just unfold here like this and just uh, curve round no specific measurement i just um use eye gauge just to form a circle and trim it down trim. fold like this and like this then just cut a little part out of this place like so just little that the thing can go in So you can make something like this for a bride. You can see that it's covered. Most times you can use a um, bouquet wrapper, but I decided to use this because that's, this is what I have at my disposal at the moment. So all I need to do is just to add some glue here, then stick it. It's ready. Wow, is it not lovely? Everywhere is looking very neat. Just to embellish it further, I decided to add some um, beads to it. So I'm using this um, 0.50 fishing line. So I'll cut them in um, smaller sizes or beads. Then um, I'll simply dip one end of it into the um, fish um, UHU glue like this. Then bring it out. Then pass it through the whole of the bead like this. Then pull it to the middle. Okay. Then pick another one, dip it into it as well, like so. Then pass it through the bead like this. So once I'm done, I will dip the other end of it into the glue and pass and um, dip it or put it inside the um, um, roses anywhere in between the roses. Just dip it in like this, then put it inside. Can you see that? Wow, is this not lovely? I went a step ahead to also add some white roses to it. This is amazing. You could make single roses for Valentine to share to your loved ones and also make beautiful bouquet like this for um, brides. If you know if you know you've learned something new today, kindly give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and remain everywhere. Bye.